very warm welcome to all my dear students this is a channel of triple a physics today we are going to talk about the motion kinematic equations from the very initial basic for the class 9th students so let us see what is kinematic word If I talk about kinematic, we have a brief discussion about the mechanics division. Let us see here. Mechanics part, a classical mechanics we are talking about, is divided in statics and kinetic, or you can say dynamic. This is dynamic statics statics means <clears throat> when we are studying of any particle any object any body at rest means its forces suppose an object is on the floor how much is the normal force how much is the weight how much is the experience of acceleration due to gravity and what is the weight due to that and what is the friction acted if there is an intention of motion but it is not even moving so that is a situation we talk about at the rest when we study for any material particle if we talk about dynamic we have two parts that is kinematic and kinetic so in kinematics we talk about the pure motion part any object is there it is moving it is in a motion what kind of motion it is for that we have different parameters we have different tools to analyze that particular motion uniform non uniform uniform accelerated motion non uniform accelerated motion for that we have distance displacement speed velocity average speed average velocity then acceleration then the constant acceleration or the uniform acceleration then non uniform acceleration the displacement is going on like that we have the terms uh, with respect to time we talk about so time is also one of the parameter but we do not we do not talk about the cause behind the motion we do not about talk about the agent who applies that acceleration on the body in the kinematics part that is why it is a pure motion part and if we talk about kinetic we talk about motion involved with the cause of cause behind the motion so it involves cause behind the motion it does not involve the cause behind the motion okay so pure motion it is so we are talking about kinematic equations now so we all have understood what is actually kinematics word meaning now kinematic equation let us write the three kinematic equation then we are going to understand individually the first is v is equal to u plus at then second one is s is equal to ut plus half a t square then third is v square is equal to u square plus 2 as mathematics is, is one of the basic tool which will help us to understand the concept very well and the fourth point is the displacement at nth time is u plus half a 2 n minus 1 so we are going to understand these four points in this basic video lecture <clears throat> from the initial we will start if we talk about the term of first kinematic equation the study begins from the accelerated motion we very well know that Uh, till uh, the junior classes we have studied in a given time interval whatever the speed was whatever the velocity was was constant so that was a pure uniform motion we have studied now we are going to talk about the motion in which the speed is varying the changing speed is there in that case what will happen that too we will study in the cases okay so <clears throat> we have an motion and in that motion let me draw the situation as well suppose this is a car moving with a velocity u and due to engine force it experiences an acceleration in the same direction now when it experiences the same acceleration in the direction 
then at that time what happens so this is the car here it achieves some velocity as v and during the journey the acceleration remains constant if we talk about class 9th we you all will study the accelerated motion and the acceleration in the journey will be constant as per your syllabus part okay some time is consumed in this journey and some displacement is done this is what the basic parameters we have in every uh, motion generally so if the initial velocity is there so this is the value of u we are talking about v versus t graph the standard units we take meter per second and this is second so the acceleration is constant it means the slope is constant changing velocity with respect to time so we will have a equation of the straight line and this is what the straight line we have uh, we know very well that this is a straight line and a straight line equation is y is equal to mx plus c where y is v <coughs> m is the slope and uh, x is the displacement and c is a particular constant as we can see u is termed as constant so in place of u we can write this u and in place of x we can write the term of t and in place of m we can write the slope value and we very well know slope is what delta v by delta t as per the graph which is the acceleration so we can write acceleration so slope of the line defines this statement but <clears throat> for the junior classes if you are not understanding this mathematic part you can easily take uh, the value that is the formula is acceleration a is equal to v minus u upon t from here you can do the cross multiplication a t is equal to v minus u again v is equal to u plus a t is the final conclusion so final velocity we can be achieved when our constant acceleration in this situation this acceleration is constant in all the kinematic equation the acceleration considered is a constant always remember this for your class standard okay now let us move let us move to the next part <clears throat> so second kinematic equation we are going to talk about if i talk about second kinematic equation in second kinematic equation again we will see the graph the same graph only we can see so this is the straight line this is the u velocity for better understanding try to mention the unit as well okay now this is my final point which i am getting so this is my initial point which i have so i can this is the origin o okay so uh, this is the velocity attained at this location is v so this is the value of v from the origin and uh, this is a special value we have this value is v minus u which is actually delta v change in velocity v minus u now let's see the other terms of time here time t is considered to be zero because we are talking about origin this part this point a is at uh, from the x uh, the coordinates of a point are u comma zero so time is zero here and if i talk about here we drop a normal to the x axis from the point b that point is named as b point b point so here we get some time and this time is known as a t and i can say t is equal to t t time any of the variable it, it may be now in this case <clears throat> if i talk about second kinematic equation as we have seen i have already written here the second kinematic equation talks about the displacement covered and we have a t and t in both the uh, terms which are added at the right hand side so we needed the displacement as a function of time so we needed to see that uh, this is the velocity and this is the time 
and if we multiply velocity and time i am writing their units meter per second for the velocity and time for seconds seconds are cancelled out and we are getting the unit as meter only so we very well know if in a rectangle this is length this is breadth if we multiply l into b we get the area <coughs> this area okay fine so if i have this as velocity this as time if we multiply we will get this area and this area will define as v into t which will provide you the displacement part as we have seen the unit system if this is clear now let us move now we have come to a conclusion that we needed to find the area of velocity time curve to get the displacement now how much area is to be find it because we have the situation from a to b so this is my curve line ab so area under the curve we needed we needed area under the curve so i'm just drawing that i'm writing that area under curve area under curve ab will give you the i am writing the name also area ab then we have this point as c this point as o now this we can take as a common line because we needed to divide these two areas this is point d so we have area a b c o a. this area we needed which can be splitted in the two parts area of a triangle right triangle and that right triangle is a b d plus area of rectangle that is a d c o okay so this ultimately the area will give you the displacement s s is the displacement in the entire <coughs> motion of an accelerated motion okay so s is equal to now let us talk about the area half into what is the base of the area of triangle we are talking about this half into ad plus bd if we talk about the bd value it is equal to v minus u as we can see from the curve this is the value of t only because we can see this is the time t minus 0 therefore it will be t only plus then area of rectangle OA into OC this is what we have the displacement part now I will tell you few terms which are not mentioned in the book or you are not able to understand if you do not have the detailed concept of the mathematics so <clears throat> as we as you all can see that this area can be taken out by the two ways that two ways rectangle plus uh, triangle as we have done right now and you can even take the entire as a trapezium why we have not taken as a if I talk about the conclusion that is ut plus half a t square as the equation second we have okay <clears throat> now the third kinematic equation we are going to talk about in the third kinematic equation we have the term again the same triangle only we needed the area why because the third kinematic equation is actually talking about the displacement part only as we all can see this can be written as the third kinematic equation can be written as v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s so here we can see this is a change in velocity and this is a constant term a is also constant because it is a uniform accelerated motion part so we can say v square minus u square is directly proportional to displacement so we needed displacement one statement we have got it means we needed area in the vt curve and we needed v square minus u square down in our equation this is what our requirement as per the equation so let us figure out the strategy what to be followed for finding the area now if we talk about the third kinematic equation in the 
in this again we needed area because we are talking about the displacement part <coughs> but as we can see this the displacement is area only and the area under the curve only we will take that means o a b c o this area only we are talking about okay but uh, what we needed to do the changement is previously we were taking time as a common now we will take we will try to terminate the time because in the third kinematic equation the time is not mentioned so what we will do we needed this and this in our area term we are trying to terminate this term right this equation we needed to substitute acceleration in, in, instead of this time t so for that a is equal to v minus u upon t therefore t is equal to v minus u upon a this is what we are going to use so s displacement is equal to half this i can write v plus u and instead of this i am going to write v minus u upon a so what we get a square minus b square as the value of a plus b a minus b so half a v square minus u square now again this go this two goes at that side this is in the division part so 2 as is equal to v square minus u square therefore we get the conclusion v square is equal to u square plus 2 as as the third kinematic equation okay now let us brief again for these equations which we have seen if because generally what we do we we solve the questions of kinematic equations by the substitutional method of mathematics we generally forget that this is physics and uh, we instead of uh, strategizing the terms of the given situation we search out the given quantities and what is the uh, quantity which we needed to find out from the from these three equations we just sub substitute the we give the given values and we find out the uh, the value which we needed so so you have to understand what every equation wants to say if i talk about first equation we have v minus u is equal to at we can write it in this pattern also now if we see very carefully this equation says that i am change in velocity i am talking about change in velocity this is equals to sign equals to sign with the, with the constant so on combining these two i can get the proportionality sign so this the first equation says change in velocity with respect to time this is what i needed to talk about if in any condition of motion my speed is changing with respect to time the time function is also given then that is a situation it is talking about first kinematic equation if i talk about the second kinematic equation the second kinematic equation says i am the displacement as a function of time as i already told you in the explanation part of this now if i talk about the third kinematic equation this kinematic equation says that i am change in velocity with respect to displacement the first says change in velocity with respect to time if you have this situation given in such terms then you can easily <coughs> use the values though you will get the answer correct in the substitutional method as well but you needed to understand it very precisely for your higher studies as well now let us talk about the this term this is not in your ncrt but we needed to find out this term as well what will be my motion in nth second <coughs> let us try to analyze the situation generally students learn this uh, formula but we are going to figure out its understanding part now suppose an object is there it is moving and its velocity initial velocity is zero and it has an acceleration the acceleration is common everywhere the acceleration is common that is 1 meter per second square and in that case if the object moves 
initial velocity I am taking, suppose I am taking 1 only, 1 meter per second is the initial you have to make sure that the time is one duration we are taking. Suppose at uh, tenth second we are talking. Tenth second means just after the ninth second overs and before the eleventh second starts. This is what the duration. The duration is one second only, but that instant is tenth one. <clears throat> this is what the tenth, ninth, eighth means. Now, if we talk about the displacement S1 part. What will be the value? As per the formula we have, the general formula is S nth is equal to u plus half a to n minus 1. From where we get this formula, I will derive as well, but try to understand then, then we will move to the derivation part. Now, S1 is equal to, <coughs> S1 means just after 0 second and just before second, 2 second starts. So, this is u, u is 1 plus half 1 this will be 2 into 1 minus 1 so it will be 1 only so you are getting this value as 1.5 meter now if i talk about s2 if it is a uniform acceleration sorry if it is a uniform motion means velocity is constant so for every one second it will travel 1.5 meter in next second 1.5 meter in next second 1.5 meter but this is an accelerated motion for every one second, <coughs> it will have more displacement if it is positively accelerating in the direction of velocity. But if you are braking, the negative acceleration is the opposite acceleration is to the direction of velocity, then in every second, the deviation traveled will be reducing in nature. Let us talk about S2 part. <coughs> For S2, again u is 1 plus half a then 2 to the 4 minus 1 that will be 3 what it gives you it gives you 1 plus 1.5 that is that is given to you 2.5 if i talk about s3 what you what you are getting the value is <coughs> 3.5 meter on solving so like that as you can see this is S1, this will be S2, this will be S3, S4, S5, like that the values are changing. So if I talk about <coughs> S5th, it means I am talking about T is equal to 4 to T is equal to 5, this between. How much is the duration? Time is 1 second only between them. This is what the nth displacement we talked about. I hope you all are clear with the actual situation of it. Now let us talk about the general formula derivation. Suppose I have to find out the value of nth second. I have this nth second as this one. S nth. This is fifth, fourth, <coughs> like that I have. And so what will be the time here? The time will be t n minus 1 and this will be t is equal to n. This is what we have. t is equal to n. This is t is equal to n minus 1. As we talk about fifth, we have seen t was a 4 and t was a 5. Similarly, t was n minus 1 and t was n. Let us, let us draw the situation here. So, we are actually talking about s n and the duration taken for that is n from n minus 1 to n time. So, time duration is 1 second only. Okay, let us observe the motion. How much is the, this displacement? So, we very well know s nth can be founded by total displacement displacement suppose this is the origin and this is my traveling of s n minus 1 I am not talking about nth and this is my traveling for total displacement s n <coughs> this is displacement just one second before nth and this is what this so this will provide you the value of nth second duration okay 
so n second will be s n minus s n minus 1 this is n means time so s n means u t plus half a t square u n plus half a n a square minus <clears throat> Sn minus 1, you are, we are talking about u n minus 1 plus half a n minus 1 whole square. Okay, let us talk about uh, the expansion of this equation to get the conclusion. u n plus half a n square minus of this will be u n minus u plus half a I am expanding and multiplying both a n square this will be plus half a and this will be minus of this is plus half a and this will be minus 2 n <coughs> so we get the value u n plus half a n square minus of u n plus of u minus of half a n square I'm opening the bracket minus of half a <coughs> then this will be the value minus minus plus 2 to cancel out a n okay now let us see this value is cancelled by this this value is cancelled by this what is the value remained here u as a positive we can see this this is the remaining part <coughs> minus half a n plus a n now in the standard form if i needed to write i will write u plus half a as common then it will be minus of n if I take a n as common then it will be minus 1 as common then I have this value as <coughs> minus of n and this will be plus of 2 n why 2 because I have taken half outside that is why I have to multiply 2 n so we can write this u plus half a <coughs> this will be I'm sorry I have written this n n term will not be there in the equation so this will be one only so 2n minus 1 why because here we do not have any n by mistake it was written okay so this is what ultimately we are getting the value half a 2n minus 1 as the displacement of the nth second so this is what the general formula we have obtained in this video lecture so from these you can solve all the kinematic equations problem but you always remember one thing when you are taking the values as positive and negative try to take it in the Cartesian coordinate system pattern only suppose your object this is your car moving in this direction with some velocity u and you have taken this u as 10 meter per second this means that you have taken this direction as positive because the given value was 10 and you have written in the positive pattern this actually you have written positive 10 meter per second it means you have predefined that this direction I am taking as positive now if braking is going on you very well know opposite to the direction of velocity the acceleration acts so this is the direction of acceleration if the direction of acceleration is opposite to the velocity and velocity you have predefined as a positive then definitely this direction is negative so negative acceleration will be written in that pattern okay <clears throat> if you are taking this direction is positive this direction is positive so all these directions will be taken as negative in this convention part but try to use the standard pattern of the Cartesian coordinate system for solving the numerical so hope you all have understood that uh, the theory part now we will do few of the questions in the next coming videos and stay tuned with us and uh, we will definitely 
sort out the thing very easy we will make the uh, terms very easy thank you